Hi, it's Lawrence Payne, Roman Mosaic Workshops, and going to have a quick look at some underlying geometry here on these uh, mosaics. So you can see here we have some Solomon's Knot with interwoven squares. Now we know it's that because if we count the single white center tesserae along one side, they're three. It's an odd number, which means there is an interwoven square. Divide the remaining number two by two, one, therefore it's a single Solomon's knot with an interwoven square. And you can see here, in the bottom right, here is the two links of the Solomon's knot, and here is the interwoven square. Now, let's just have a look at the underlying geometry. So that's the pattern, but the geometry is circles and squares. So you can see, quite simply, you've got your four squares. That circle there is the inside of the interwoven square. You could stick another one there on the outside. Take a look at another example. This is a border. So this is a four strand guilloche border pattern. We know it's four strand because if we count down the right here, the single white center tesserae on a diagonal line, there's one, two, three, three, we add one, four we know it's a four strand guilloche and if all these strands were done in separate colors and you followed them all the way around with your finger you'd find there are four separate strands now see here the underlying geometry is obviously circles and the thing to note with the circles here is you can see where they overlap there is your single white center tesserae and where the circles, if we look at this center one on the left hand side, um, you can see on the diagonal lines there are your single white center tesserae. Now have a look at one more. And this is Solomon's Knot with Pelter. Now Interestingly, if you just look at these Solomon's Knot, let's look at the bottom right one. You can see here the hook, one part of this Solomon's Knot, the hook, the long side of the hook is on the left side. Here it's on the right, here it's on the left, here it's on the right, here it's on the left. Doesn't mean anything. Um, you'll see quite a number of them are on the right, but obviously they, they've made the choice to try and alternate them here. That's just a, um, I think, just a stylistic choice. So, Solomon's Knot, again, there you go, underlying geometry is your circles. To add the Pelte shapes here, you've got the other circles there, the centre of which, if we look at this top centre one, you can see there is where your circles have their centre. So, there are the four circles there, and they interweave and you can see where that center point is there. You can see where the other center points. Now, this isn't too accurate. Uh, but you, you don't try to be. These patterns are not uh, geometrically perfect. None of them are. But if you just roughly put in this underlying geometry, you can see where it goes.